The shock sentence handed down to a British grandmother, Lindsay Sandiford, for smuggling £1.6 million of cocaine into Bali last year will see her killed by firing squad unless her appeal is successful. The 56-year-old from Teesside, who later lived in the Cotswolds, has cooperated with Indonesian police and claims she only agreed to carry the drugs because of threats to her children. The British government has objected to the decision to impose the death penalty when even the trial's prosecutors sought the 15-year prison sentence. A warning, there is flash photography in this report from our Asia correspondent, John Sparks. She sought a little privacy under a cream-coloured shawl, but she wouldn't get it, not here, not on Judgment Day. There was nowhere left to hide, in fact, for this 56-year-old grandmother from Redcar. Where's my sister? Lindsay Sandiford was caught on arrival in Bali last May with 10 pounds of cocaine stuffed inside the lining of her suitcase. It's a grave charge to face. The Indonesians take a dim view of drug smugglers. And Ms Sandiford was about to find this courtroom a very public and pitiless place. Lindsay June Sandiford is guilty, said the judge. And I sentence her to death. The courtroom gasped, and Ms. Sandiford seemed stunned by the decision. The prosecution had sought a 15 year sentence, not death by firing squad. But the judge said she damaged Bali's image overseas. She was very shocked. This wasn't predicted. She never thought she'd get the death penalty. The judge hasn't even considered our arguments for leniency. This housewife from Teesside was caught in possession of drugs worth £1.6 million, and the police described her as a key part of an international smuggling ring. You told me you could be safe. However, Miss Sandiford said she'd been coerced, forced to work as a drug mule after threats were made against her son and she led police to a number of other British suspects. Ms. Sandiford said the cocaine belonged to this woman, Rachel Dougal. And she said this man, Paul Beals, had sewn it into her suitcase in Bangkok. Yet Ms. Dougal and a relieved-looking Mr. Beals have been handed relatively light sentences. One more Briton will be sentenced tomorrow. There are 40 foreigners on death row in Indonesia's overcrowded prisons. But nobody seemed to think Ms. Sandiford would join them. At the time of her arrest, the authorities even thanked her for her cooperation. Uh, she helped us. The customs chief said the judge would certainly be lenient, but he wasn't. The verdict has been condemned by the Foreign Office and others, including one group who've tried to support her directly. I spoke to her this morning and she was incredibly distressed and scared and concerned about what she would do in the future. She has no lawyer. She needs to file an appeal within the next 14 days. She, she was very, very worried. She ducked under her shawl and prepared to leave court, a wafer thin barrier for a woman in shock. If Lindsay Sanderford files an appeal, the process could take years, but she has little choice but to try. The alternative is death by firing squad.